WhatsApp group they called Secret Squirrel <laughs> From 2016 to 2018, eight officers allegedly engaged in conversation like this. Female colleagues referred to as silly slags and she's female, so the chances of her being competent are zero. A photo of a very senior former officer was shared and the response was, bet she gets so much one officer suggested he name his dog Auschwitz, Adolf, or Fred or Ian after my two favourite child sex killers. A police poster aimed at encouraging trans and non-binary recruits was ridiculed. One message read, not a boy or a girl, a b in other words. And see this letter from the Department of Professional Standards to Katie Price. They're explaining that her son Harvey was also subject to abuse, a mixed race young man who suffers from Prada Willy syndrome and autism. There's one here, it's got a horrible swear word in, so obviously I'm not going to say that. It says, 4 a swear word, we can't see, he can't find his way to the fridge and a biscuit jar with little difficulty. Like, that's mocking Harvey again about him being born blind. So much of what was shared in today's hearing cannot be repeated. We're talking about misogynistic, racist, homophobic, transphobic, anti-Semitic and disabledist language. All of it described with phrases that feel so familiar now, a breach of professional standards and a toxic culture. Remember the Charing Cross case? Offensive messages exchanged by officers on WhatsApp and a Facebook group chat all dismissed as banter. Also in the last couple of years, the case of two officers who photographed the murdered sisters, Nicole Smallman and Bieber Henry, sharing the pictures on WhatsApp with the message, dead birds. In this case, there are eight officers. They're all said to have breached professional behavior in relation to equality and diversity, authority, respect and courtesy, and challenging and reporting improper conduct and discreditable conduct. Something has to be done. It is disgusting behaviour. They are disgusting human beings. The panel also heard how one of the officers referred to a male officer who, quote, once got away with rape as a legend. Three officers admit to gross misconduct for all the allegations and two officers admit misconduct for all. One officer admits gross misconduct for the first allegation and misconduct for the other two. One officer denies the first allegation and admits misconduct for the second and third. And one officer hasn't engaged with the misconduct hearing at all. Out of the eight officers involved, two are still serving.